Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. This is part four of our analog to digital video conversion series. Today I'm going to look at this video DVR. I see these all over the internet at various different prices from different vendors with mixed results. I've never used it before. Today we're going to see how it works. This video DVR has a USB on one side and it has the female audio and video connections on this side. I love the fact that they're female because you can plug your dubbing cable directly into it without using the couplers. So I'm going to take the audio connections from my dubbing cable and plug them in red to red, white to white. I'm going to use the S video so I won't use the yellow. Since this is a female, I'll have to plug in an S video cable which was supplied with the kit. My dubbing cable will go into the AV port here with 3.5 millimeter jack. The other end of the S-Video cable plugs into the front of the camera here. So now everything is connected to the camera. All I have to do is plug the video DVR into the computer. I'm going to put my tape from 1992 into the camera. The capture software will be the OBS Open Broadcaster software. The OBS software is free to download and install. So whatever's displayed on the camera is now displayed on the computer. I'm just going to press start recording and press play on the camera. This is of course the Saturn V moon rocket, one of only three left in the world at the Johnson Space Center here in Houston, Texas. I'm just going to press stop here and then pause the player. So now I have the file, it's been digitally captured and recorded the computer. I'm gonna minimize that, come into my video folder and there's the file. Press play just to make sure everything worked. And there you have it. I have to say this is the first time I've ever used this. It worked very well. There were no problems. I saw these units all over eBay, all over Amazon. This particular one came with a really good set of setup instructions, although I have to say I didn't even need it. All of the defaults worked. The only thing you had to do was add the capture device. It was very obvious how to do that. I'm very happy with this. It worked perfectly, flawlessly. There was no issues. This is one of the easiest ways to do analog to digital video capture. And as always, please like or subscribe my videos and thanks for watching. <laughs>